It's a polygram. So I have a niece. Her name is Lauren. And I love her. People that have followed me on here for a long time know that because I have tweeted about her quite a lot. Anyways, now she's a grown young lady who is so successful and wonderful and beautiful and smart. And she's married to this guy named Chris who we love so much. But when she was young, when she was in like maybe elementary school, maybe middle school, something like that, I was out here in LA and I don't remember who said it to me. Maybe it was my sister or something else or whatever. And they, somebody said that somebody had called my niece, Lauren, a liar for saying that she was my niece. Turns out, Lauren didn't even say that. Somebody else said it. And it's true. She's my niece. And I heard about it and I got so mad because that's my niece. You don't mess with my knees. I got on a plane and I flew to Tennessee and I got there late at night, I remember, and I was so mad, my niece was asleep. My nephew was asleep. And my sister, I just went straight to my sister's house. I rented a car, drove over to my sister's house. And I got, I got I guess, a six pack of beer, sat back on my sister's back porch, just so mad. Just like, err, like drink a beer, like, err, like don't, don't say that to my niece. Like, not only don't say it to my niece because she's not a liar and she's such a good girl, but also I don't ever want to be the cause of, you know, trouble for my family because of what I do for a living, which has happened in many other different things. But this is my niece. So the next day I wake up, I drank too many beers sitting on the porch by myself the night before. And I was like, Ugh. and I was like, crap. But I get in my rental car and I drive to her middle school and I get there and I'm like, now I'm nervous. I'm like sitting in a, the parking lot of a middle school. And, and I don't know if any of y'all done that as an adult. Like if you don't have kids or if you're not a teacher or something, I mean, wow, like why would you? But anyway. Here I was. And I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm nervous. I'm afraid to go in. It's like all the fears of middle school, even though I was a, a full-grown adult. But I'm like, ah, right? So um, so I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, nervous. Okay, I'm like, okay, I can't get my thing because I'm going to go in there. Because my plan, well, what I was going to do is I was going to go to school with my, with my niece. I'm going to walk around everywhere, like, just like that. Like, here I am, right here. Flew out here last night. But I was so nervous that I like opened the door in my car and I was sitting there and turned the radio on. I thought I'm gonna just chill out here for a little while. And I was blasting ACDC, like sitting in the parking lot, just like blasting ACDC and like trying to get my my you know my backup to get to get in there and not and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh oh whoa, no. I look like some cr crazy creep sitting in the parking lot of a middle school with the doors open and blasting ACDC. And I'm like, oh my God, I look like a crazy person. So that made me more nervous, but I'm like, I gotta get out of here. So I clocked the door and I went inside and I had a little pass because I told him I was coming and I went and found my niece and there it was. And I just, just went everywhere my niece went Probably wasn't a great day for her. <laughs> Nobody wants their aunt <laughs> like following them around. <laughs> but I did it and I was going to do it. And I went and I sat next to her in her classes. I went and sat next to her in the lunchroom. <laughs> and I did that. And it's pretty hilarious to me now. But don't call my niece a liar. <laughs> like ever.